Phil, it's great to have you. Uh, you can be skeptical, as you are, and call the metaverse dumb, as you have, but um, it doesn't change the fact that it has entered the mainstream and the loudest players like Facebook or Meta are setting the narrative. What's wrong with that narrative? Uh, it's just so stupid, it kind of makes me sad. You know, there's so much actual, so many real problems in the world and so much opportunity to actually solve them and to see so much hype being uh, poured down this, you know, weird dystopian sci-fi vision, which no one actually wants is, uh, I don't know, just kind of sad. It's lame. Uh, but yeah, you're totally right. It is, it is part of the hype cycle right now. My prediction, though, is that a year from now, it's going to be pretty rare to see the word metaverse be used uh, unironically. Hmm. <laughs> we, we may already be at that point, Phil, uh, but it doesn't really, you know, under, underneath the hype, it doesn't really change that that is sort of where we are going the last two years amid the pandemic. More people are comfortable living digital lives, whether they want to or kind of have to because of the global circumstances. So what, what should we be thinking of as the metaverse? How can we parse through the hype? Well, I think, um, I think you're totally right. I think the metaverse, uh, the word is really squishy. Right. It can mean, I guess, whatever people want it to mean. Right now, it's just a, kind of a little shorthand for sprinkling some, some hype on something to make it seem more interesting. If by metaverse, you mean the Internet, you know, digital world, you know, Zoom, video games, uh, video communications, then, yeah, of course, we've all been in the metaverse for, for years. And, and, and it's generally a good thing we are. Uh, if you mean a specific definition of kind of the way that 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 Meta talks about it, you know, a uh, persistent, interconnected 3D world, mostly experienced by wearing a big VR headset on your face where we live and go to meetings and shop like that definition, that's certainly not happening. It isn't going to happen because uh, it's dystopian and no one really wants it. Bill, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, I mean, <laughs> the viewers know I I've been saying uh pretty much what you're saying also for a while now. And you're not against certain uh, ideas that are getting sort of glommed into this metaverse <laughs> narrative. It's just the overall kind of hype marketing that uh, makes my stomach churn. But I wonder where you see the most potential. I, you've done work in video conferencing layered on top of that. Uh, you're, you're interested in the value of AR. I see some things happening with um, App Love and Iron Source, companies like that uh, kind of making mechanics uh, with digital economies work better, you know, Unity, et cetera. W where do you see the most interesting investing areas? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, I think we're living through a historical discontinuity. I think the world right now is the changiest that it's ever been, uh, triggered by COVID and triggered by all the changes that we have to make in response to it. You know, things that we used to think of as, as, as pretty much being set in stone for, you know, for decades are now are now malleable, are now open to change. You know, the ways that we do education and how we work and how we deliver healthcare and just about everything, like all of these things that used to be really resistant. And the, the, there's many creative ideas uh, coming out of it, coming, coming out of startups and out of big companies right now for that. Everything from yeah, augmented reality, which I think has a big future as soon as the hardware uh, is ready just digital communication. We've really been thinking about this revolution as uh, we've been calling it the, the out of office world. The real change is that it's, it's, it's out of office. Uh, and when I say out of office, like I kind of wanted to sound like I'm saying out of jail, like in, in, in the before times, there was this massive thing that dominated almost every professional's life, which was the office. And now for almost everyone, that's, it's much less of a dominating force. You have many more opportunities to integrate your, your work and your life around this out of office experience. And of course, digital technologies are gonna play a huge part of it. Uh, they already have, and there's so much more innovation to be done. And that's why it's just a little bit infuriating <laughs> and depressing to see so much <laughs> attention being paid to what's ultimately obviously just a gimmick of, you know, people floating around in cartoon universes without any legs and having meetings that way. Nobody wants that. That isn't a thing that's actually gonna catch on. Uh, but the, a lot of the constituent pieces of what's going into the metaverse, well, yeah, of course, those are, those are totally legit and will continue to be developed.